you're having issues printing with your Epson EcoTank 4700 model, uh, stay tuned because today we're going to be going into a solution for that problem. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here yet again with Best Printers at bestprinterstech.com. Today we've got the Epson EcoTank 4760 and uh, basically if you're not able to print a certain color, uh, your lines or your certain colors are coming out choppy, or you just have an overall and general print quality issue, you've tried you know some of the methods uh, already in the system and it's not working, I wanna show you how you can fix it on your own. This is a very common problem. A lot of people have it, but I do have the solution for you and it's something you can do on your own at a very affordable price. Now with the instructions in this video, along with the instructions in the cleaning kit that I'm gonna share with you, you should have no problem doing this and having success with it. Just make sure that you follow step by step everything that, it, that is in this video. Now I will be using the uh, Best Printers cleaning kit. It's the print head cleaning kit. There's gonna be a link for it in the description below. Uh, basically what this does is it's gonna flush out the print head. I'll show you how to use it in this video. You got a 20 milliliter syringe here. So with this cleaning kit, you will be able to fix this printer. It's very easy, easy to access everything. Uh, again, just follow the instructions in this video and you should be just fine. Thousands of people have used this product and have had success and saved themselves hundreds of dollars with ink and uh, saving their printers. The delivery can be very fast within one to two days with Amazon Prime so you can get back to printing again normally. Now this method can be used on most EcoTank models uh, I've done videos on other uh, printers, but um, if you have a similar setup to this one, uh, it should work out for you as well. It should be pretty generic, pretty much the same instructions. I hope this information ends up being helpful. If it is, please make sure to like and subscribe. And also, if you have any questions at all about the process that this uh, repair slash cleaning, uh, you can go ahead and comment below and I'll do my best to get to you. All right, guys, that's really all I have for now. So let's get right into this repair. Okay, so what you're gonna need is, of course, the Best Printers cleaning kit. Uh, you're going to need a small uh, Phillips head screwdriver. I'm gonna include one in the description below. You're gonna wanna use gloves and you're gonna have to have some paper towel. It should be any paper towel, something that's maybe laying around in your kitchen, so I'm not gonna really link to that. Uh, so for, at this point, you're gonna wanna have your machine on and uh, once it's on, you're going to go into your maintenance. From your maintenance, you're then going to print a uh, nozzle check print head nozzle check this uh, report is going to help you determine which colors you need to work on the most okay the nozzle report that you're gonna see in just a moment is how it should look if it's doing just fine however if you're having this problem you will probably be missing a certain color or certain streaks or lines in uh, one of these uh, patterns so next what you want to do is print another nozzle report and uh, you're going to listen for the print head going back and forth and unplug the printer. You're going to want to have it powered off. This is a very important step uh, that you unplug it while it's in the process of moving back and forth so that your print head ends up right in the middle in the unlocked position. This is exactly where you want the uh, print head in the middle unlocked so that you are able to uh, do the work that you need to do on it. And as you can see there, there's nothing that is damaged. There's nothing wrong with uh, doing this process. Uh, now this top piece, you are going to want to remove it with a very, very small uh, Phillips head screwdriver. Again, I'll leave uh, a link in the description below for one that is uh, small enough for this screw. And it's really just one screw. That's all you need this for. Uh, and then you're going to be uh, unlatching. There's two latches, one there and then one back here unlatching it and then pulling it out that's it that's the whole thing once that's removed you now have access to be able to remove uh, each one of these these are actually um, we'll call them default cartridges basically these uh, veins that go into each one of these default cartridges is pushing ink into them constantly so it's basically uh, how these uh, eco tanks work where you've got a constant flow of ink uh, going each, into each one of these default cartridges. Now to remove these, it's very simple. There's a plastic piece on the very top. You're just wanting to remove that. And then uh, you're removing these default cartridges. Do not remove the, um, the actual hose, the lines that are connected to these default cartridges. You're gonna leave that on and you're just gonna lay them, you know, on, this, on e either side of the print head. 
what you're trying to do is get access to the print nozzles which in three two one those are the print head nozzles and uh, that is what you're going to be working with and really what would be good is if you got your print nozzle report the one that you printed in the beginning and kind of took a look and were able to pinpoint uh, which colors you wanted to work on the most you're going to determine that but also you're going to want to have some paper towel folded up just like this and you're going to get that folded up uh, piece of paper towel and put it under the print head Whatever's in the way uh, as far as these cartridges, you know, move everything out of the way so that you are able to uh, place this paper towel under here. This is important because uh, this is going to capture all the uh, excess um, dried up ink, but also the uh, cleaning solution, which is right here. Uh, again, link in the description below if you haven't already purchased one. Uh, this is the only cleaning kit that I would recommend using. Uh, so you're going to get your cleaning kit with your 20 milliliter syringe on there and uh, the... Uh, silicone tubing is what you're going to place over the nozzle. Now if you see the pattern at the bottom of the screen, black, cyan, magenta, and yellow, that's basically the same pattern that's on the print head. Uh, so you can kind of match up what color you're having issues with uh, with those patterns. So at this point you are, uh, you have selected a color, you've placed the silicone tubing over the nozzle that is the correct color you need to work on first and you're pushing the cleaning solution uh, through. I would say each nozzle at a time, you're gonna wanna do 10 milliliters at a time so that you can adjust the paper towel, replace the paper towel uh, if needed. Um, now, if you have a major issue with one color, you're gonna wanna do 20 to 30 milliliters on that. So that's a full syringe and a half on a color that's not printing at all maybe for example and then something that's a little bit faded uh, you can even go as far as maybe 10 to 15 milliliters you don't have to do, go too crazy uh, but another thing is you can do 10 milliliters at a time and do it two to three times on each nozzle that you believe is f affected now you can do this to every single nozzle so that you can do a complete flush and you know restart the whole print head system but mainly i would focus on the colors that are giving you the most issues first then you can think about kind of doing a general cleaning uh, and you're also going to want to have a rag around so that you can kind of uh, you know clean up uh, there's going to be a little bit of a, a spillage you know here and there and so that's why it's important to switch out your paper towel but the, these are the nozzles kind of a little bit more up close so you can kind of see exactly what how you need to place a silicone tubing over each nozzle just like that it's very easy and what you want to keep in mind is uh, this is a process that does take some effort. So you want to make sure that you're satisfied uh, with the amount of cleaning that you did before you end the cleaning and put everything back together. Uh, so you want to go over maybe some of the ones that you didn't. Uh, maybe go over the ones that you really need to uh, a couple more times. Uh, and then you're going to wrap it up, clean everything up, make sure that there isn't any cleaning solution or, um, you know, spilled around. Uh, just use as much precaution as you can to make sure everything is wiped down. And then you're going to replace these, uh, uh, again, default cartridges uh, one by one. And uh, you're going to place the veins where they need to go uh, as well. A little by little but this is the easiest way to do it there is another process that i had uh, where you remove the veins and you actually hose down the uh, default cartridges but that is probably not as effective as this this is the most effective way to do this and uh, i stand 100 percent behind this method now just in case you weren't going to stick with me until the very end uh, you need to run a power cleaning that is vital that is a vital step in all of this if you don't run a power cleaning uh, the uh, ink will not go back into the print head so that is something that uh, I'm going to stress I cannot stress that enough I will be showing you specific instructions uh, towards the very end of this video uh, but basically it's it's a process where the ink is going to come back into the print head flush the cleaning solution through and uh, all you know you should be able to print normally after that uh, now also for that process you will have to have some extra ink on hand and you're going to want to make sure that your ink tanks are completely full. Now while I uh, replace this shield it's very simple you're putting that back into place latching it back on. But back to the ink I will be providing a link in the description below for some uh, brand new refill ink uh, for this printer some 502 and uh, that'll be remanufactured versions of the ink it's going to be just the same uh, but you are going to want to have some extra ink on hand you really don't want to run out of ink again uh, and you do not want to run out of ink while you're doing this process because it's very important that you have the extra ink. 
Okay, powering the printer back on. Uh, if you go to your maintenance, uh, you can, you'll see a section that says power cleaning, uh, but that's not how you're actually going to be able to run the power cleaning. Uh, you actually have to have the uh, printer off, and from the very beginning, you're going to have to press two buttons. I'll show you in just two seconds. Uh, but it's going to direct you to look at some instructions, but really it's this power button and the question mark button. You're going to hold those down for about seven to ten seconds. Uh, or as at least until this screen pops up run power cleaning you're going to click yes and that is the power cleaning this takes about seven minutes but it does use a significant amount of ink so you're going to want to have that um, prepared all right i hope this ended up being helpful for you if it was please make sure to like and subscribe if you have any questions at all comment below and also make sure to check out the links in the description below that's really all i have for today thanks so much for watching and until next time